In this episode, we're going to review the portfolio website of a talented Canadian web designer from Montreal, Quebec. Hello, I'm your host Casino from Casino.com. I'm the Digital Alchemist, and in today's episode, we're going to review the website of a web designer that's based in Montreal, Quebec, in Canada. Now, as usual, the concept in this series is to ask yourself the question, what is your first impression when you land on the website, and what is your last impression before you actually leave the website? In other words, if you are a potential employer or a potential client, would you do business with that professional? Okay, with that out of the way, let's dive in. So today we'll be taking a look at Matteo Stabio's portfolio. Matteo is a graphic designer and web developer from Montreal, Quebec in Canada. So in other terms, he's a web designer, as I call it on this channel. If you look at the various elements on the homepage, first of all, Matteo implemented some trends of 2020. They were also here in 2019, but like the big gigantic font and the scrolling text. But in this case, I like the way it's implemented because it's really subtle. It doesn't go too fast. It doesn't scream for too much attention. And I kind of like that. Next, we have uh, some of the elements from his portfolio. As we can see, it's asymmetrical design. And you know, this channel often talk about asymmetrical design, which I'm not a fan of. But really on this website, I think it's really well implemented. Once again, we have the same effect here and with a more streamlined layout. So from the homepage, um, it shows you what you can expect. And also the colors kind of make me think that he's targeting corporate um, websites. And we'll see that in a moment, even though here we have the, the burgers um, website. But for the rest of the website, it's a bit more corporate. And that um, color palette, the blue scheme is really reassuring and it's really typical of uh, corporate web design. So I don't know if it was um, if it was deliberate or not, but I think it works well. Now, in terms of branding, the logo itself is the M of Matteo and the S of Stabio. So nice logo. So let's move on to the projects page. So this is our projects page and we'll take a look at the projects a little bit later in this video. We'll look at three projects. But as we saw on the homepage, this is asymmetrical design, but it's really clear. Uh, I would have put maybe a little bit less elements, but it's not too much. I think it works. I think it works well. So as I said, we'll come back to this page in a moment. Now the about page. So, about the UI and UX designer, Matteo Stabio. I'm a versatile web designer based in Montreal. I have over seven years experience helping clients and businesses tell their brand stories with compelling, striking visuals. I've worked in areas including print design, UI, UX. So, basically, the idea is to show the potential client or employer what you've been, um, what's your experience, what you've been up to, and what they could work with you for. And then he says, I'm always looking to expand my knowledge and grow my skills as a designer. I challenge myself to think outside the box and explore different mediums and digital trends. Never want my work to feel repetitive and or generic. And I manage that by constantly seeking out new inspiration. So then we got some pictures of Matteo and the pictures are really professional. And we see in a moment that he does actually photography also and video. So that's really on par with what he's uh, actually advertising so actually those look like stock photos professional stock photos but in the good way i'm not saying that in the bad way it looks really really professional i also like that effect when you scroll so the background color change and the text change so it goes from positive to negative colors and i, I like that and for the rest it's kind of i actually it's a resume it's a resume it's a normal resume Next, the What I Do page. So Matteo says, I help your business unleash its full potential. So that's great because oftentimes people will say, okay, I'll build your website. But building the website is not the, <laughs> the expected result. Of course, people want their website built, but what do they want? They want their business to grow. And that's what Matteo is focusing on here with that sentence. So 
I think that's um, that's good because as we know, people won't read everything on your website. So when they see a blog like this, they're probably not going to read it. Uh, if it was me, I would just scan through. So reaching online, consumers, social media, social media. Okay, if I'm a potential client, maybe social media um, triggers something because maybe I have, an, I have issues with uh, my social media um, necessities from com concept to completion, generic web design. Let's create something amazing together. Usually that's how people scan through the page. But then once they hesitating between two or three freelancers, maybe they'll start reading. But before you get to that stage, you need to uh, catch their attention. And then he proceeds on telling what services he offers. And that's crucial. That's crucial. So he offers web design, web development, uh, branding and design, photo and video. So there's an excerpt here. And if you want, you can click and you go to a dedicated page with more details. Now, what I like about this is that you can just either scan through, you see the four uh, services. You don't have to read further. Okay. He does web design, web development, branding and design, photo and video. So if I'm a potential client and I know I want someone, that, I mean, I was about to hire a few people to do all of that. And then I have kind of a unicorn, not really, but I think it's really good that he's got all these skills because honestly, um, this is a digital alchemist, web design, web development, branding and design, photo and video. And I kind of like that. And if I was a potential uh, employer, it would be the same thing. If I want to hire someone, I'd rather have someone that can do many things. I'm not saying I'm looking for a jack of all trades, master of none. And actually that term sometimes is overused. But if I know uh, I want a web designer and if on top of that, he's good at video because it's a passion, he's got uh, some web development skill, then I mean, that's a win-win for me. And here you, you add branding and design. And as we'll see in a moment, uh, Mateo's got some sk some skills there too. So that's really interesting in my opinion. Now back to the projects and case studies page. Now there are many elements on this page and we're not going to review all of them. We're only going to review three. And as I often say, you only need like three winners to make a difference. So let's move on to the first project. So the first project is Phoenician Decoram, clever brand and website design for a renovation company. Now, the first thing that I like is that he's really explaining what, what's going on with the project, because if you just provide a link to what you did, people will click on the link, but they don't know, did you do the design? Did you, did you do the rebranding? Did you do the website? What did you do actually on the project? So here it says, Phoenician Decoram is a home interior renovation company from Montreal. This project is about its full rebrand, which consists of the new brand logo, business cards, and redesign of the website. Well, that's very precise. You know what to expect. Then he talks about the branding process. He says from the very beginning, he knew that incorporating a house into the logo would make it more self-explanatory. So it took a few drafts to get to the final logo, but the client was very happy with the outcome. So this is a connection element with the client uh, to freelance relation. So I think it's it's really good. It's subtle, but it's really good. So the requirements were be clean and minimal and memorable, have the letters F and D in the icon, symbolize the house and the color scheme. Okay, let's move on to the website. So this is the final website. And as you can see, it's really clean, really minimal as we've just read. So let's take a look when we scroll, we have a nice parallax effect very geometrical shapes uh, design is symmetrical it's really a simple but really really clean website i actually like this part here uh, when you hover over the element you see the images maybe i would have made the images a tiny bit visible from the get-go but i understand why uh, he did that and i like the fact that the view all services has a different color because it attracts your eye right away that looks really nice in my opinion and onto the mobile version so when we click on the menu we get that full screen menu and the element um, the items for the navigations are big enough so if you have big fingers it's going to be easy to tap on the navigation elements and for the rest it's really on par with the desktop version and looks really really clean the second project is ace me or ace me i don't know how you pronounce 
and it says Ace Me Properties was a collaboration between myself and Web Movement. We went for a simple yet attractive logo and a minimalistic website that was fully responsive and well organized. Our goal was to put emphasis on the message and have no visual distraction for the audience. This was achieved by having a menu button option to show or hide the main menu. So at least with the explanation, you know uh, some of the decisions that were made on this website. So this is a screenshot and I really like what I see. So now let's take a look at the final website. So this is the final website and as you can see, it looks really clean. I love that font. I think it works really well with this website. Uh, the only thing I see is that the logo and the picture on the retina screen kind of feels a bit too compressed. Maybe um, it should be of a higher quality. It will look way better. Um, but that's on a, on a large retina screen. So uh, that explains that. Now for the rest, when you click on the navigation, it's actually really con, uh, consistent with the explanation he gave. He wanted to make sure that there's no visual um, pollution, basically. He wanted to make sure that you can focus on the, the message. Here the message is pick an item for the navigation. So full screen navigation that works well. Um, I like how he uh, laid out the blocks here. Kind of asymmetrical design, but then we go back to symmetrical design beneath. Okay, so very simple website, but very clean. And now onto the mobile version. So I really like the edge around the image here. I think it looks, it makes it really, really clean. So the mobile version is really consistent with the desktop version. And if we click on the navigation, same thing here. So no surprise really, but it works really well. It does not look like a stripped down version of the desktop version. Project number three is Felix Vinci, and this is my favorite project uh, out of the three. So it says, refining a real estate broker's image through branding and web design. So the challenge, uh, rebrand Felix Vinci as a new, young, strong, and successful real estate broker, make his brand a memorable one, differentiate him from all other real estate brokers, and generate organic traffic. So this is the, the brief. The solution create a strong branding that reflects real estate, finesse, and success. Design a polished, one-of-a-kind website that represents all of the above while building a custom solution so he can easily upload new properties to his website, refining a real estate broker's brand and developing an incomparable website. Okay, so that's a big challenge. So let's take a look now. Welcome to Felix Vinci website. So let's break it down. First of all, the branding. The branding is just beautiful, in my opinion. It's like branding is really beautiful. I love the um, simplicity of the logo. I love the color. Um, I suppose this is kind of a, the roof of a house. And also, if you look, it looks like it's an F that's been angled. So uh, an F that's on the side. And you can probably also find a V, an upside, uh, upside down V, but maybe this is too far of a stretch, but at least the F of uh, Felix and uh, the roof. So very nice website, easy to uh, do with a, with a pen and paper. So if I asked you to look at this logo for five seconds, then turn away from the computer and redraw that logo with pen and paper, that's gonna be so easy. So that's, that's a really good logo. And the font is also nice. So uh, next we have video, and as we saw, he does photo and video. So uh, I don't know actually if he did the video for this one, but the video is really on par with the rest of the website. I like the color scheme. the The layout is really simple, but really really clean. I like this um, this layout here. You know, tied layout with a bigger uh, image here on the left and actually when you hover over the image there's a really subtle Ken Burns effect so I kind of like that beautiful font once again and the whole thing really feels so clean so looking at the brief and the solution this is it so really really good let's look at a property so uh, actually, these are most visited neighborhoods. So if I click on that neighborhood, 
okay, I got some explanation and then I got a map. And the map is really branded with the, with the color. So that's really nice. So let's take a look at the properties page. Okay, so those are actually, uh, this one is sold. Let's click on the first one. Okay, so I really like that part here with the block that has a negative margin and that's on top of the image. Then we have an icon here that tells us we can actually scroll. So I can drag and scroll to see the, the other images. Uh, maybe a bit gimmicky, not sure. Uh, I just want to spend time doing that. Maybe a regular gallery, but at least the ID is there. But the whole layout looks really, really clean. I like also the toggles here. So it looks cleaner when you land on the page and then you, um, you can open the various toggles if you want more information. You get the information. Uh, I mean, this is Felix Vinci, I guess. I guess that's the man. And you see the number here. And now let's take a look at the mobile version. It's really uh, consistent with the rest of the website. It looks even better on the mobile, to be honest. And it, it's, it, it already looks beautiful on the desktop. Now, if I open, I like the Lottie animation here on the um, navigation icon. And there's a transition. Yeah, I really like that really clean full screen um, navigation and the items. I mean, at least here on top, they are big enough. Maybe the smaller ones, if you're small, uh, I mean, you have big fingers, maybe that's going to be a bit harder. But for the top elements, the most important ones, it works well and minimal and clean. So I hope that you got inspired by this video and by Mateo's portfolio. And if you did get value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really, really helps growing the channel. Now, if you don't want to miss the next episode in the series, and if you want more inspiration in general, make sure you subscribe and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Oh, and by the way, if you want a killer brand identity for yourself or for your clients, I created a brand identity guidelines template that you can download on my website for free. Initially, it was made for Affinity Designer, but you can use it with Adobe Illustrator with a workaround. So if you're interested, just go to casino.com forward slash branding. So that's it for this episode. I hope to see you in the next one. And in the meantime, don't forget to invest in your success.